And as theme parks gear up to reopen, many parents have been working with their children to understand the rules on social distancing and wearing a mask. One family learned the hard way that it's going to be difficult for children with disabilities. NBC 4's Kim Tobin tonight has their warning for other parents looking to plan an outing. This family has a four-year-old son with autism and a lot of sensory issues. He has a hard time wearing really anything on his face. They tried to visit downtown Disney with a doctor's note. The park offered the option of a face shield, but ultimately they went home and they're worried that other families are going to run into this same issue. Even before theme parks officially open, they're drawing big crowds. Disneyland, Six Flags, Knott's Berry Farm, and Universal Studios all putting rules in place. Signs flashing outside downtown Disney make it clear masks are required. But one family visiting was hoping their son's disability could be an exception. The happiest place on earth where it's really celebratory of kids and all kids, I just thought that was just kind of a slap in the face because my kid is quote unquote different. The family didn't want to give their names. This is their four-year-old son who has autism, whose face they asked us to blur. In public places, he stays in his stroller, and they plan to walk around and not take him into shops. They brought his school's exemption notice with their doctor's notes explaining he can't wear a face covering. That's the thing that bothered us was that they didn't even attempt to look at the form and pretty much told us that if he can't wear the shield or the mask, then, you know, we're out of luck. We reached out to Disney. An official told us they have to take extra health and safety measures during the pandemic and the reopening process. And the face shield was the less restrictive option offered to the family. This family is hoping others don't have to face the same situation at any theme park as they try to get their kids back out after more than a year. Have that maybe a little bit clearer. Have that in writing that Disneyland doesn't accept exemptions. To just blatantly turn away a child like that is just really upsetting. Kim Tobin, NBC4 News.